hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe and I am a British expat currently living in Guangzhou, China. Bye. 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 I decided to do a get ready with me. I suppose this is a Valentine's thing because I have gone for the pink, but um, it was more about chatting. If you don't know, in China at the minute, there is an outbreak, a viral outbreak. So I am self quarantining myself currently just over two weeks in and it can get a little bit lonely. So any excuse to have a little chat is grand. So yeah, if you want to get to know me more, this is probably the video to do that. Okay, let's just discuss the two elephants in the room because then it's done, isn't it? My hands of this colour, I have no idea why. I think it must have been the tinted moisturiser I used last night because my fake tan is never usually this orange and it just does not seem to go from my hands. So that's the first thing. Second thing is this spot is a prime example of why you don't mess with spots until they're ready. So I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelids. This isn't going to be super informative on the makeup end because I have done a makeup tutorial and I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm not actually going to go too in depth with the whole makeup. I just want to chat. This is more for chatting, you know? But I will tell you that I am using this Profusion palette. It's just seven shade multi-finish eyeshadow palette. I don't think it has a name. I don't even know if you can buy this in a store. I got it in my advent calendar, so. But seeing as it's almost Valentine's Day, let's crack out that pink. I just realized I can't really speak and do anything involved with my eyes, but I'll try my best. So today is the 11th of Feb. I'm actually so glad it's February. I was so done with January. January was such a rubbish month, although February isn't that great either, but I've got hope. Now, obviously the coronavirus is still active and infecting people daily, but the current updates at the minute are that the suspected cases are slowing down, which is fab, and the recovered cases are increasing, which is also really, really great. Again, the most problematic area is in Wuhan, where it originated from, but there are a few thousand cases in my province, but just not even close to like Wuhan, so I can't, I can't complain. I've been asked a lot by friends and I don't know, random people who see my posts on Instagram or whatever, why I'm not going back to England. Firstly, the British Embassy did announce that they advise British people to go home if they can, but it's not like an absolute must, unless you're in Wuhan where they're doing like rescue flights back to England, but you will be quarantined for 14 days once you get back into England, which ain't too appealing to me, not gonna lie. So the only reason that I'm staying, and it's quite simple, is because of my cat. If you don't know, I have a cat. I've had her for almost a year now. She's my absolute world, my absolute baby. But unfortunately, the system to... What is on my chin? The system to get cats into England from China is not the most simple of processes. But um, I am filming that whole process because it is quite confusing. I think it might help some people. Obviously, traveling with pets isn't the most difficult thing to do, but it does require time and planning, which is something that I didn't do. I didn't plan or time that there was going to be an outbreak in January. Like, nobody was going to be expecting that. So, unfortunately, I can't just leave. Long story short, I ain't leaving this country unless she can come with me too. People have been ditching their pets to go back home and I just think that is like the most irresponsible thing. Just to put it bluntly, if I didn't have pumpkin or pumpkin was able to fly, I probably most likely would have left. Just because I can't right now currently work, so I can't earn any money. Everything's closed, like I can't travel anywhere. The border to Hong Kong is closed. Well, no, well, the border to Hong Kong is not closed, but you'll need a 14 day quarantine once you arrive there. So like, what's the point? It's just not a comfortable living environment here right now, as you can probably already guess. So yeah, I probably would have left if I could have. So yeah, there's really not much I can do about that. I literally have to just wait. I'm gonna just quickly go and do this eye and I'll be right back. Okay, I'll go back to my eyes later and make them look less crazy. I just wanna round off like the whole what I'm doing 
doing in regards to staying in China, leaving China. Actually, I was planning on leaving China this year anyway. Like, I'm not just saying that because of the virus. That was my plan. I feel like two years here is enough for me. And I totally could branch off and like, I don't know, get into some business here or basically just switch career paths. But you kind of need to know where you want to go and what you want to do. And I just don't know what I want to do right now. All I know is that Guangzhou is not fulfilling me like it used to. It's not like exciting to me anymore. It's not like, I don't know. I just feel like I would thrive somewhere else. I've been contemplating where to go and I've definitely been leaning towards going back to England. It just seems more smart. It seems like the smart move, but also I'm not saying never, you know, maybe in two months time when pumpkin is able to fly, maybe the virus has gone and maybe I get a new opportunity and I stay here. Like it just totally depends. Before all this virus malarkey, I was like adamant on moving to Hong Kong. I was like, even though it's like one of the most expensive cities in the world and I would have to come to terms with the fact that I can't live in a nice sizable two floor apartment. I was willing to do that because I love Hong Kong that much. I started looking into it. Like I totally started looking into living in Hong Kong and working in Hong Kong. And I was speaking to friends who live and work out there now. And yeah, I was like, I'm gonna do this. And then this whole virus broke out. And obviously that just changed my whole plans because I just don't know how long this is gonna last. I don't know what effect it's gonna have on the economy. Like I'm not really in a position to wait and find out, but I'm such a like never say never person. Like even if I did move back to England and I got myself a good old job and I was really happy and then two years down the line I got an opportunity to move to Hong Kong and work there. I would never say never like I would definitely still come back to Asia But right now it's just not it's just not doing it for me anymore It's weird because I got my apartment that I wanted like I wanted this apartment so bad and I'm just gonna get real with you all now I could not afford this apartment like when I signed the contract. I didn't have a job and I couldn't find a job but I just literally manifested this apartment so bad because I was like I want a space I want to thrive and like don't get me wrong you can still thrive in smaller cheaper apartments but I did that for a year I lived in these studio apartments in the city center that were still quite expensive and this year I just had a whole sorry not this year 2019 I just had a whole different goal and I was like I want to thrive I want to be my best self I knew that this apartment could help me do that. So um, I got my shit together. I manifested that deposit money and I fucking did it and I got it and I'm so grateful. And it's nothing crazy by the way. Like this, maybe to some people this apartment's super small and not that great. But to me, this was like such a massive thing for me because, sorry. Yeah, this apartment was just like a little personal achievement for me. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. I've totally lost my train of thought. I'm such a tangent person. Yeah, but anyway, back to the point. Would absolutely love to live in Hong Kong. I just love that place so much. A lot of people ask me why I love Hong Kong so much and I genuinely can't answer that. And a lot of foreigners feel the same way. I think it's down to the fact that it has such a perfect balance of like Asian or Chinese Cantonese culture, but also everything that a western person wants i don't know it's just like that perfect balance and like night markets and little like quaint streets and like it's just such a fucking dope city like i love that city so much if this virus hadn't have broke out i would have gone for it i would have fought for it like i fought for this apartment such a shame that i can't really get the chance to live there because even if i if even if i moved there for like a month or two and then realized it wasn't for me at least i tried so so if everything goes well and Pumpkin can leave the country, could be back in England about May. It would have been April had we not had to wait another four weeks, which is I'm not gonna lie, like when I think about moving back to like England, it excites me, like it genuinely really, really does. But at the same time, I'm like, what if I like miss Asia so much? Cause I have loved, I'm not gonna say every second of it, <laughs> cause there's been a few times it's not been my favorite moments. But um, I just don't know if I'm gonna not regret it, cause I never regret like my big moves, but I'm a little bit afraid that I'm gonna miss Guangzhou or just living not in England 
I'm not kidding. I've been like, not lonely, but just like isolated AF these past two weeks. So it's been about, I figured out that it's been about just over two weeks since I've like self-quarantined myself. And what I mean by that is like pretty much not, no, I've not socialized in over two weeks. I've not gone any further than my neighborhood. Oh, I have, because I went to the city to sort pumpkin out. But other than that, I quite literally haven't left my neighborhood. I've stayed in my district completely. When I choose not to socialize, like that's fine because that's my choice but now it's like I can't socialize I can't see people in fact pretty much all of my friends in Guangzhou and Shenzhen bar about two or three people have left have completely left um, China and probably won't return unless the virus is much much better. Evidently I'm not very good at chatting and doing my eyeliner. <laughs> Obviously um, I've already done a video about like the coronavirus and I do talk a little bit, well I do talk much more in depth about like what's happening in Wuhan and my personal opinions on some certain grey areas. So yeah you can kind of go watch that if you want to hear about like my personal opinions on some things. I do just want to say one more thing about the coronavirus and then I will shut up about it because I do know that um, I did a whole video on it. So I just wanna say that you don't need to come into my DMs on Insta and tell me that I shouldn't be cuddling my cat or I shouldn't be so close to my cat because she can spread the virus. Firstly, you're not in China. So don't tell me something unless you're like absolutely sure of this like truth behind this fact. Secondly, I would never risk her health, my health, other people's health. Like I just wouldn't do that. The official reports say that as of present day, there is no sign that you can transmit this virus from your household pet. There are different separate coronaviruses for cats and dogs, but this particular one, there is no signs. As of, as of right now, and if that's not enough for you, that's, that's your problem, but that's enough for me. I actually really don't like lipstick. I don't know why, I just feel like it doesn't, it doesn't suit me, but I'm gonna give it a go. I just feel like I look like a tit with it on. It's just not the right shade, is it? Let's try this darker one. Okay, I love this side, but I hate this side. So what do you do now? Like, how do you rectify that? I don't know. Hmm. I just don't know about me and lipstick. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna pop off camera and do my hair. Actually, not gonna film that part of it because I feel like it's boring and I'm not that good at it, but I'm just gonna use a curling wand and brush it through, make it nice and wavy and curly, and then yeah i'll be back in a sec okay i have just slipped into something a little bit more valentine's-esque even though i am single af and this valentine's i can't even go out anywhere or do anything so i'll be ordering a pizza and basically just spending it like i spend every day now anyway <laughs> So this is my final look. If I was going out on a date, I probably would go for something like this, a nice pink or red eye. Still not sure about these lips. I'm just not sure. These hands, no one's gonna date me with these hands anyway. Like they'd take one look at me and they'd be like, see ya. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little life update slash get ready with me slash Valentine's -y kind of look. I literally think that palette is just gonna be... Oh my God, that must be the strongest palette in the world. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're also in China, stay safe. If you're not in China, stay safe anyway, I guess. And have a fabulous Valentine's Day. Don't be afraid to tell the person you fancy that you fancy them. Okay, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, send me a comment, follow me on Instagram, or don't. <laughs> I feel so awkward. Okay, bye. <laughs>